Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to A Come Touch of Fantasy. My name is Paul. Thank you for joining me today. It is September the 4th, 2017. Today we have the first five stories from Lightspeed88. First impressions of Heir of Navron, uh, Steve Rogers, number 19, and Extremity, number 6. But before we start, I just have to say that I hurt my back, so I'm going to try to do this in one take so I don't have to sit here very long. Uh, here we go, Heir of Navron by Michael J. Sullivan. It is the third book in his Rhaeyr Revelation series, and I'm enjoying this one quite a bit. I'm 200 pages in, and all of the characters and plot lines are coming to the same place. And that's what I like about fantasy, when everything is like scattered about, then all of a sudden everything comes to a head at the same place, with the same characters, and things get resolved. And uh, I think I'm going to like this one the most out of all of the Rhaeyra Revelation books. And uh, it's a really fun, easy read. Okay, let's get to the short stories that I've read over the weekend. Uh, we have five of them. Blue Ribbon by Marissa Langan. Uh, I like this one. This one was about these kids that are stranded in their spaceships while their space station has like a disease that's rampaging through the space station. And these children have to stay in their ships that they used for racing previously and try to survive by working together when usually they are <clears throat> adversaries. Uh, it was really good. I liked it. I, I recommend it. Uh, my favorite short story from from these five is The Ever-Expanding Flash of Light by Timothy Muddy. Uh, I put this on my top... Uh, stories of the year list if you don't know on my website come touch of fantasy I have a link and it's like my top stories of the year so far and this one has been added this is basically a story about a woman and her husband and the woman is sick so she gets cryo frozen and the husband goes off into the universe and explores and tries to find a cure for her cancer and uh, it's just a very heartfelt story. I love stories about family, and this one was fantastic. Uh, the, the Genevieve Valentine story, Carthago, Talenda Est, I, I didn't understand it at all. I, it totally went over my head, and I struggled to understand it. So I really have no uh, uh, thoughts on it. Um, I should say that an ever-expanding flash of light is actually something from this year. Blue Ribbon was from a few years ago. The Catherine Valente was from a few years ago. Uh, Ugo by Giovanni De Deo. Uh, this is from this year, and I like this. This is a story about a future self being able to go back in the consciousness of their past self. And so this guy's future self goes back in the consciousness of his past self to meet his future wife and it's a very interesting story and it says a lot about love and I would recommend that one as well that one was good uh, then with the start of the last Chang Bang gift from Jamie Go it goes into the fantasy short stories and I really didn't care for the Jamie Go story it is about a woman that has passed away but she is able to still live in this like underworld and interact with the physical world and her daughter gives her a gift i didn't really like it all that much it wasn't that great so uh from best to worst so far is a never expanding flash of light uh then you go then blue ribbon and then the other two uh tomorrow's stories we're going to finish out the short stories from lightspeed 88 uh the magician's apprentice by tamson muir a Pound of Darkness, A Quarter of Dreams by Tony Ballantyne, and Shogos in Traffic by Tobias S. Bukel. I am also going to be uh, waiting to read the novella from this. I'll probably read that the following day and just only read that novella because it's like 20,000 words. So, yeah. So that's why I'm reading three short stories for tomorrow. Uh, comment books, the first one. Uh, we have Captain Rogers, or Steve Rogers, Captain America, number 19. Uh, this was okay. It's mostly about Sharon and Steve. After Steve has thrown Sharon in the brig in prison. Um, <clears throat> and she's confronting him about like who he used to be and who he is now. Uh, art was great. 
uh, but the issue is kind of dragging the storyline a, a little bit. Now, what was really good was this right here, Extremity Number no. 6 by Daniel Warren Johnson. He's a writer and the artist, color by Mike Spicer. I love this comic. <clears throat> this comic um, came out, started coming out this year, and this is the end of the first arc. And I, I really like his writing. I love his um, brutal, violent art. And then the color by Spence Spicer is amazing. I highly recommend this from Image Extremity. The trade comes out tomorrow, I think. I have this in my top 10 favorite comics at the moment that I'm pulling. Uh, if you want to see a list of that as well, check my uh, webpage, commentouchoffantasy.com. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favorite comics being written right now, and I like it from Image. Uh, for tomorrow, we have Green Arrow, number 28. This is one with where he visits um, Metropolis with Superman. And then the final issue of Hadrian's Wall, number eight. Really looking forward to finishing this series off. This has been a great read. One of my top ten uh, comic books at the moment as well. So that's it for me. I'm reading those two comics, reading those three short stories, and then reading more of Heir of Navron. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope everyone has a great Labor Day. And uh, if you have any questions for me, ask them in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later.